Hi everyone, and welcome to the Self Storage Show with Jim Ross. Hi everyone, this is Jim Ross, and uh, this is going to be a little different today. Uh, as you know, I run a self storage management company, and I was hired uh, to take on this site today. And it's interesting. This is actually the same site that I got into the storage business in 20 years ago. 20, yeah. And getting old, but it's been a while. So it's kind of funny how things just come full circle. Now I started as a self storage manager at this location again 20 years ago, and now I'm back here as a self storage manager company running it. And so I thought it'd be interesting of kind of a manager's perspective on day-to-day -day operations because this for this site here it needs some tender loving care <laughs> and I wasn't about to just put a brand new manager at this location because to be honest I'd probably get you know chewed up and spit out in the first couple days so I, I want to kind of get things set up everything going working work in order before I get a manager in place here so what I'm going to be doing is kind of a don't know what to call it yet, but like like a day in the life of a self storage manager, the ups and the downs and the crazy stories and all that kind of fun stuff. You know, who says self storage is boring? There's there's always something going on. So that's where I'm going to be taking this video blog, what do you want to call it? But it's going to be kind of a day in the life of a self storage manager. So, all right, ready or not, here we go. Okay, so. I'm back after my uh, first day at this new site, new old site. Uh, and anyway, I think I'm going to start doing this as a, like a daily vlog, uh, kind of a day in the life of a self storage manager. Now I know it's I'm kind of coming from the angle of you know self storage manager slash management company, but I am playing the role of a self storage manager for the time being. So we'll, we'll go through this and. <laughs> Get my thoughts. This would be like my uh, this would be my self storage therapy. So interesting. Uh, started off the day before I even got to the site. I want to make sure I had some things set up correctly because I I know this this area. It's it's kind of a it's a rough area. You know what I mean? Uh, kind of lower rundown type of a site. And so I went to the local police department. First off, went to their admin and said, hey, introduce myself, and we set up making sure that they're going to do some extra, um, what do you call it, patrols at night. So with their vehicles and they're driving by, they have the gate code, they're going to go in and do some extra patrols, just keep an extra eye on things, it'll come in handy. And then I also signed off and have them do some uh, canine training. So yeah, once I post that, that we do some random canine dog training at the site, yeah, that'll, that'll probably flush out some of the people that I don't want to be storing at my location. So that'll be my way of doing it. <laughs> I'm getting the word out. And anyway, I got to the location today. And again, it's the first time I've, I've been at the site as far as, you know, it's the first day of taking over this location. And right off the bat, you know, the, the gates broke. And come to find out, that's just a regular occurrence at this location, the gate being broke. So... Uh, that's going to be a future additions of getting that fixed and the steps of what what to do to upgrades, software, hardware, whatever it's going to be. But it's though there's no ifs, ands, or buts. It's, it's going to get fixed. You, you just have to, you know, in storage. If you don't have the right gate, you don't have your security in place. Well, it just all goes downhill from there very quickly. Um, then I come to find out that hey, day before we had like five break-ins. <laughs> This guy got broken into, this guy broken into, this guy got stuff stolen. Good luck. And again, it's, and that's nothing new, it is storage, it does happen, but you have your problem sites, and sometimes those sites, it can start to snowball if you don't keep an eye on things. So there's going to be some steps I'll be putting into place, and I'll be sharing that with you as well when it comes to surveillance and locks and fencing and then making sure things are much more... Uh, tightened up when it comes to security so see if we can get that lesson because there's nothing more disheartening to go in and you see a doing a walkthrough and you see a 
block that's been cut, and just, your heart just drops. You're like, oh, great. And I'm going to call that tenant and go through that situation, and I call the cops, and get a case number, and uh, it just, if I can uh, avoid having a, any kind of break-ins in the first place, great. And then I go into the, the site, and the office itself, and there's, there's, there's no AC. <laughs> I've got to use a, a portable AC unit, so... That makes for it's gonna make for some long days in there, and then part of a you know taking over management of a of a storage facility many times, you kind of bring your own software with you. You change the storage softwares. In this particular case, I I wasn't gonna change the software, at least not immediately. Sorry guys, if you're watching this, that eh, I'm gonna be making a change, uh, but. It would have been too much all at once to make that change at the same time with storage software and then the room kind of crazy. Because, again, for those of you that haven't gone through the situation, when you change softwares, a big component is you want to get as many people on auto pay as possible, obviously. Well, storage softwares don't keep track of the credit card information. You just, you can't. And so when you're transitioning to a storage software, well, you have to have that credit card information in the first place to input into the new software to be able to charge. Well, that takes a, well, a lot of time, honestly, to be calling and get a hold of people to get that credit card information in the first place to input it in the new storage software. So that kind of just puts things delayed a little while. So I'm keeping the current software that they have. So I'm taking over. Went and did the, the storage software training today. And I don't know. Again, sorry if you're watching this, but... Oh my gosh, that was oh, that was a long one. That was boring. <laughs> I won't say who it was, but anyway, the, 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 the software itself is, there's a lot of choices out there. Let's just put it that way. And if you're looking to store software, go through the demos, really assess what's going to fit your needs because there's a lot of them out there and some are better than others, but I'll get into that later when I actually make the transition. Anyway. Send them. I uh, send off the the team on their merry way, and then the, you know I'm there by myself, and I start first thing I do is one. Let's do a walkthrough. You know, see how things are laying, lay the land, see what's going on. <laughs> and the first person I come to, I was 30 seconds into my my walkthrough, and classic self storage hoarder. I mean, it was a 12 by 48 storage unit, and just packed from the floor to the ceiling from both sides, and just a little trail going through and there was a car parked out front so i knocked on the door and i hear you know hello you're on the back I'm like hi you, you, are you okay in there <laughs> she comes shuffling out and just telling me how she's getting things organized and it's been like 18 months of getting things organized in her unit so had a nice chat there with this lady, and that's that's kind of the synopsis of the site. It's just gonna be some interesting characters going on. And again, I alluded to this at the beginning that the site I'm taking over is actually the same site that I managed. That's how I got into storage 20 years ago. And lo and behold, I'm walking around and I, I see two people that I know that I've stored there 20 years ago. They're still there. And so I'm, I, I remember my name, you know, I'm just like, Frank, Grant, you know, what, what, are you, what are you still doing here? And just, you know, start chatting that way and what they're, what they're doing in their businesses. And hey, I mean, they, they make their payments every single month and they're, they're great customers. They've just been there for, you hear me talk about lifetime value of a customer. You know, the average lifetime, you know, they'll stay as, you know, maybe 12, 18 months type of thing. Man. These two guys, they'll, they'll, they'll skew those numbers way off. So, again, I guess we like it when there's lifetime uh, lifers <laughs> in our, our facilities. They need that they're, they're they're great tenants. But I was just surprised that I saw them when I was there the first day of walking around. And there they are. Um, so anyway, it's gonna be gonna be interesting. You know, tomorrow maybe I'm a list here. Tomorrow we got the, what the software transition happening. Got my insurance coverage bound so I, whew, i'm good there i could sleep tonight the websites go live got a gate guy coming in fix this gate 
got a camera guy because that's a whole other story. All the cameras are all out of whack and don't work. Again, if you don't ride the right surveillance, it snowballs on you. So getting the cameras set up in place. I got a door guy coming out a couple of days after that because I was doing my walkthrough and there's all sorts of doors, door issues going on. So anyway, it's going to be a interesting <laughs> time as I manage the property and then actually being on site managing the property. So it, it really, I mean, it's only been a day. And again, I was a storage manager for a long time, but I've been out of it. I mean, quite frankly, I've been out of that part of it for a while. I've been more in the supervisory position, but man, being, being in the trenches and then, and again, it's only been a day, <laughs> but you know, just dealing with the customers and just dealing with the phone calls and just dealing with the everyday crap that storage managers have to go through. You know, props, guys. I mean, uh, respect. That's that's a hard job, and I honestly, I know you don't get enough respect as you should. Um, so I'm gonna do a much better job myself when it comes to my management staff and letting them know. You know, <laughs> I love you. I really appreciate you because again, storage managers are the backbone, the foundation of the storage business. So treat them right. I love it when you guys have, you know, respect and pride in what you do because that definitely shows in your facility that you run. Uh, so I, I'm hoping with this openness and this kind of transparency of, of being a manager at the site, kind of the ups and downs and all the horror stories that kind of go along with it and all, all that kind of stuff, shed a little bit of light on you know, what it's like day in and day out and the day in the life of a storage manager. So. That's the goal of this. We'll see how it plays out. And yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure we'll have some good stories <laughs> as time goes on. So thanks a lot, guys, and I'll catch you next time. See ya. Hi, guys. Thanks so much for listening. As a thank you, I want to invite you to a free one-on-one -on -one confidential strategy session with me. We're going to take a good look at your self-storage business and help you identify exactly what's working and what's not and how to improve your results fast. So head over to theselfstorageshow.com to schedule some time.